Borax sweet. Mmm, borax sweet. Borax, the cleaning agent that our parents and our grandparents grew up with. 20 Mule Team Borax is nature's sweetener for laundry. The old-fashioned powdered soap cleans clothes, cleans hands, and cleans dishes. Clean cutting board with all the troublemakers washed off. Borax may be old-fashioned, but it's definitely not outdated. In fact, borax is inside modern items we use every day. You don't really know this, in your, but in your daily lives, you interact with it uh, constantly. It's not only is it in fertilizers for your food, um, it is in glass uh, for your television, it is in your, your cell phone here, this glass. Borax is inside hundreds of products and used by people from all over the world, but there's really only two places in the world that make borax, the country of Turkey and the desert town of Bora in Kern County, California. Borax is a, it's like an element on the periodic table, boron, right? And it's combined with other elements to be borax, like you see it here in the pit. The pit that General Manager Rennie Dillinger is talking about is the U.S. Borax Mine, the largest mining operation in California. We supply about 30% of the world's demand from, from this location here. Without actually visiting the pit, it's pretty hard to fathom how big it is and how much borax is being removed. That's deep really deep. Lucky for you and me, the U.S. Borax has a fantastic visitor center, which gives you an up-close look at the mining process and the equipment. It's about 25 feet tall, uh, 20, 22 feet wide, and hauls like I said 270,000 tons every time that we take it to the surface. Borax is normally sold in powder form, but to get that powder, massive dump trucks must move borax boulders from the mine to the processing plant so they can be crushed and purified. Rennie says it's not uncommon for these monster trucks to be running 24 hours a day and burning about 1,000 gallons of fuel each shift. How much to replace one of these tires? It depends. It, it kind of changes on you in time, but twenty to $60,000. Before the massive dump trucks and heavy equipment, borax mining was a primitive process that involved mules and wagons. If you listen real closely, you can hear them over in this area hee-hawing. After learning about the modern mining process at U.S. Borax, historian Jerry Gallegos welcomes people to the 20 Mule Team Museum in Borum to learn about the old school way. It all started in Death Valley's where uh, they actually discovered eulocyte borax. In the early 1880s, borax was mined in Death Valley with a team of 20 mules. A mule is a, is a donkey and a horse? Cross. A cross. Mules are faster, stronger, and require less drinking water. When fully loaded, the 20 mule team could pull two wagons and a water tank, which weighed 36 and a half tons. This sounds like a horrible trip. It's very hot. Yes. Oh, yeah. It could get 130 degrees right now in summertime in Death Valley, if not hotter. The 20 mule team hauled borax 165 miles through Death Valley. Their strength and tenacity was highly revered, and their image ultimately became the logo on every box of the 20 mule team borax soap. Boratine, borax bleach, the, the borax hand cleaner, so everybody, that's what we've always been known for. From fire retardant to ceramics, innovators are constantly finding new applications for borax. But recently, a new element was discovered in the mine. So we have um, executed ways to extract lithium from waste material. So all of our waste material uh, has just a small amount of lithium. New refining processes are currently in the works to pull out lithium deposits. And someday soon, lithium could be used inside electric car batteries, only adding to the usefulness of this mine. One of the perks of coming to the Borax Museum is uh, you get to go home with your own borax ore. From the U.S. Borax Mine in Boron, California, I'm John Bartell. Hope to see you on the back roads.